How's it going guys? Joxel here with a quick video, uh, more like an announcement. I, like many people this year, have been looking to upgrade their gaming PC. Cyberpunk released, I've been playing it at 1080p and loving it, um, but I obviously want to be able to make use of this ultra wide that I have and have, you know, frame rates above 30 FPS, um, but I can't do that because I don't have a decent graphics card. I mean, well, I can't say I don't have a decent one. I'm still rocking a GTX 1080. I'm grateful for it, um, but it's definitely time for an upgrade. I skipped the 20 series because, you know, I wasn't really worried about ray tracing and everything, but now for me to get the performance that I'm looking for, it's definitely time for an upgrade. And unfortunately, I, like many people who are upgrading their PC or trying to build a new one this year, are running to the issue where bots, scalpers, and a lack of inventory are keeping them from securing a new 30 series GPU from NVIDIA. So to make matters worse, um, I'm part of a Discord group called Stock Drops, which basically notifies me when there's a new drop and you know the graphics cards from bnh photo asus the mar any type of marketplace that's going to release them um, stock drops typically gives me a notification through discord that i can try and click a link and hopefully try and secure one unfortunately i still haven't had any luck um, but less about an hour ago they released an announcement that is a pretty big deal uh, for the industry so essentially uh, they released an announcement saying that basically there was a tariff in place that GPUs were excluded from. Now that exclusion has expired. They've made an amendment to the tariff that now includes GPUs, which is causing a lot of these uh, third-party card manufacturers to raise their MSRP. Um, they've released a list of a couple of examples of cards that have changed their prices. Um, and I can show you a tariff here. Um, this is the Federal Register's website. Basically, you can see the document yourself um, that has the amendment to the tariff. And uh, if you scroll down to line 25 on the amendment, you'll see that included in it is printed circuit assemblies for rendering images onto computer screens, otherwise known as graphics processing modules. All this is saying is that graphics cards are no longer excluded from the tariffs, and these third-party manufacturers now have to pay that tariff to import their you know, manufactured parts from countries like China, Taiwan, and other you know, manufacturing hubs outside of the U.S., now, what this is causing is basically these companies are now raising the MSRP of their products. So, for example, I have a cached version of the Asus store for their Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GTX, I'm sorry, RTX 3080 overclock card. Um, it was originally announced and released at 750 uh, on their website, and this was last updated on January 1st. Now, if you check today, you'll notice that their price of that card has now increased by about $110 um, at $859.99. And this is across the board. This isn't just limited to ACES. I mean, you can check the Discord yourself if you decide to join, but they've released a list of different uh, companies and cards that have now increased in the MSRP, which as a result is going to cost more to us. Now, this really sucks because... One of the big benefits of going with a 30 series card is that there, there was a big value when it came to the you know price or cost per FPS, right, or, or price per frame in terms of the uh, improvement in performance. Uh, but now that uh, that value is being lessened um, by the increase of this MSRP because now not only are the cards hard enough to get without having to pay you know out the wazoo for you know a scalper, but now you also have to worry about the cost of the regular cars increasing by $100 or so um, across the board. So it's just a really sad day for people like me who just want to get out of their 1080 and just or their 1060s or any 10 series card or even a 20 series card and simply want to upgrade their PC with a 30 series one because of the value. Um, I wonder how this is going to continue to affect the industry. I really have no clue in regards to um, if they're going to make any changes or if this will be amended later on to reinclude them in the exclusion. Um, but it looks like going forward, not only is it still going to be hard to get more cards, especially with the release of new cards coming out, like the rumors for the 3080 Super and the 30 uh, the 3070 Super, I believe. Um, but now the cost that they were probably originally going to be released at is probably also going to increase. So keep your eye out. Check your Discord chats, your Twitters, your, look for the rumors, and uh, yeah, I hope that uh, eventually we'll be able to get a card. But yeah, that's all I have for you. I just wanted to make a quick video, mostly to test out this new setup that I got, um, but also to kind of spew my grievances about, you know, 
choosing now of all times to want to upgrade or for anybody choosing now of all times to want to build a computer or try and enter that industry or the market, you know what I mean? But thanks for watching, guys. It was just really quick. Um, I hope you have a good day and good luck trying to secure the bag.